What's going on, everyone? It's me, Poison, again. And um, n today we are making a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 news video. So basically, a, lo a lot of news has been coming out recently about a bunch of different things, and I'm just going to be talking about them in this video. But um, sorry that this video was recorded in theater mode, so you can't see hit markers, or it doesn't say, like, plus 100 for kill. But um, this gameplay was still really good, and I wasn't recording it. I got uh, 68 kills in this gameplay, so I hope you enjoy. First of all, I'm going to be talking about the supply drop system. I hate the supply drop system because first it was okay because COD points were not a thing, but now they decided to add in the three first melee weapons, the butterfly knife, the wrench, and the crowbar. But now that they put those in, then uh, they put COD points in as well with them, so people can now buy to get them. Um, so people started doing that, and Treyarch they're not Treyarch, sorry, was, oh, this is Activision. Activision started to make a bunch of money from that. So then, they added some more melee weapons in, and then eventually got some more guns. I do not think it's pay to win, because um, all the YouTube videos you watch and everything, they don't say the guns are overpowered, so I do not think it's pay to win. I don't understand why people pay to get these things, but um, I don't know, I just think that's stupid. So. I think the whole, whole supply drop system should be stupid. If you're watching this video, do not buy them. It is the biggest ripoff you will ever get. Second of all, I'm going to be talking about the 10th specialist, aka Blackjack. Some people think he is going to be co coming in supply drops, which would be extremely stupid. I think Activision would get a ton of hate for this. So, I don't think they're going to do this, because I don't think they'd want to aggravate the fans even more. But, um, what I think, well, basically, he's already confirmed his ability is going to be stealing other specialist abilities from people, which is basically what Activision is doing, stealing our money, so, ha, clever. But, so he's going to steal other abilities, but no one knows what his weapon is going to be. Now, I have no idea what his weapon will be either, but I think it might be some kind of, like, ripper-ish, but, like... I don't know, I think it might be like a throwing knife, ripper, like, combo, sort of. I don't know, I thought that was be would be kind of cool, but... Where I think he's going to come, I think he's going to come if you buy the next DLC. I think he will be included in the Eclipse DLC, which would be pretty cool, because I know a bunch of people are going to get that, because it looks really, really good. Let's get into the Eclipse DLC. So basically, the Zombies map is called Zetsubu Noshima. And it's basically set on an island, and it looks pretty dark, pretty scary. There's plants that, like, attack zombies, it looks like. Um, it looks pretty, looks like it's gonna be the creepiest map, um, of Call of Duty Zombies. That's what the developer said. I think that this map looks extremely fun. I don't know if it's gonna be better than Derizon Rock, but I don't know, maybe it will be. It looks pretty cool, um... You get, you get plants that help you, but they might kill you, too. Um, maybe they'll have some sort of, like, backfiring system, maybe. But, um, yeah, I can't wait for this Zombies map. Um, the first multiplayer map that we're gonna be talking about is called Verge. It's a remake of the World of War map, um... I can't really remember the name of it, but it's basically, there's two, like, main areas, buildings, and then the only thing that connects them, which is in the middle of the map, is a big bridge. So basically, it's going to make it for some fun combat, um, because you and the other team are going to be, like, struggling for control of the bridge, because it looks like it's going to be the main spot. The next map is called Rift. It's basically set in a futuristic military base. And, um, it's dark, but it lights up, too. So, basically, you're going to be, um, having combat in the middle. Um, there's, like, one middle room, um, and base. And why do I keep saying basically? Why do I do that? So that map pretty much looks really fun. The next map is called Knockout, which looks really, really awesome. So Knockout is pretty much a like Japanese fighting thing. There's a like a stage in the middle where you fight against enemies. There's little like particles floating all around that look super bright. Uh, it's just a bright, fun map, and it looks awesome. Final map is called Spire. It's uh r looks really futuristic and open, and looks like there'll be a ton of cool wall running spaces. So, that map looks awesome, too. I think this, uh, DLC is going to be a huge step up from the, um, Awakening DLC. I think a lot of people were disappointed with that, uh, Awakening DLC. 
But basically, that's all the news I have to tell you guys about. And, um, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe and comment down below. I'll definitely be making some more. Also, I'm going to start a top 10 series on my channel where I do top 10s about Call of Duty and other things too if you request them. But pretty much, that's all I have to say. And please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.